We could definitely talk about Lil Durk. Yeah. I can't believe. And, and let me not even say I can't believe, because I'm sure well, we all can't believe it. I'm just tired. Let's tell him what's going on first, right? Dirk has been arrested on a murder for higher charges. These are federal charges. I think this was, quote unquote, committed in the state of California. Uh, just some background on the charge on murder for hire in the state of California. If the person does die, who you conspired to kill, it, I think it's up to 20 years to life. Crazy. So Dirk is basically facing life right now. And yeah. Uh, kind of sad. Say, Vaughn, what was you about to say before? I, I was just going to say, yeah. based on the the alleged news that we have, and I just want to say alleged yeah. to protect ourselves, right, and, and what it is that we have. These people leave breadcrumbs in their music. Um, They blur the lines. And I, I do want to talk a little bit later about how comedians have the luxury, or they used to have the luxury of just saying, oh, I'm a I'm comedian. A comedian. Mm -hmm. I can say whatever. Yeah. yeah. I can be racist. They still have that, no? I can be sexist. <laughs> I can be homophobic. Yeah. And I'm a comedian, right? Right. That shield um, is being exhausted. Yeah. And I think the shield of I'm a rapper, I'm an artist, <laughs> is being exhausted. And I think this is just another example. Um, as y'all all know, like my relationship and 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 just having people that I've loved be behind bars is very sensitive to me mm -hmm. i'm very conscious of that i understand that um i don't wish that on anybody because it doesn't just affect the person that's behind bars but it also affects the people that's in the real world who care about the person that's behind bars yep. ecosystem of you know it's, it's a whole ecosystem of when somebody is locked up in prison mm -hmm. jail facing time like it's not just the person doing time it's also the people that love that person that's also doing that time with them. Yeah. So I'm very conscious of how I speak on those scenarios. But when it comes to people who have resources, who have the opportunity to gain education, understanding, I do lack a little bit of empathy. Mm -hmm. Because I look at them and I'm like, you're stupid. And so a situation like this, with all the allegations against Lil Durk, and then we see other rappers... Um, in similar situations, it's hard for me to look at them and be like, you're not stupid. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just more confused of, with, with all of this because it's like, I just don't understand, did they think that they weren't going to get caught? Like, I'm just, I'm, gen I'm not even trying to make a joke. I'm like, no. genuinely, like, why did you guys do all of this, you know? I think, um, I think, 50 Cent said, sat down with Million Dollars Worth of Game and he said this. He said, the thing about being gangster is, you got to keep being gangster. Oh, this is the... Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Uh-huh. Uh, I love the fact that we have reached a point in life yeah. where I can look in the camera, mm -hmm. in the mirror, at my friends, and say, I am not gangster. Fat, yo, I am not gang gang. I am not... I am not <laughs> like, Niggas is not... <laughs> we I'm, are not that. We are starting <laughs> to get through the hamster wheel yeah. where that turning point is like, you For know sure. what? It is okay to be like, yo, I'm not gangster, but... I am happily and willingly ready to protect myself if need be. Sure. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. And holding yourself down and holding the people that you love down in defense mm -hmm. is one of those things where I'm like, all right, cool. Let's make sure we got all of that in place. And I like how we remix in gangster now, right? Like, I like seeing a lot of the former people who were involved in criminal activity, things of that nature, grow up and realize, like, nah, being gangster is taking care of your family. Mm -hmm. Being gangster is being the the person of the household and holding everything down. I like how that that is that perception is being you know re envisioned. Mm -hmm. The thing with Dirk is right, like I've never seen at least when you get to a certain level of money, right? I've never seen a person be able to balance in one, uh, one foot in, one foot out. It's so hard to do. Like when you on the street ground level and things are getting shaken and people might be talking about you a little bit, like you might have a little buzz in the industry. That might be a little easy to do, right? Like, for the most part, you don't feel like you've been on big stages. You don't feel like you've won awards. You don't feel like you've done really big things for people to hold you accountable for certain things. I don't know if we remember, but Dirk has really had two careers, if we want to be honest, right? This ain't what you want, Dirk, from 2012 versus All My Life, Dirk, in 2023, 2024 with J. Mm -hmm. Cole are two different careers, Right, like Dirk was one of those people from 2012 that I didn't think was going to have a second shot mm -hmm. for another run after his first run. Right, so when I see cats like Dirk, and without going into too much detail, Lil Dirk has had a public feud with NBA Young Boys Camp. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's 4KT. All right. In this ongoing feud, unfortunately, people have died. Lil Durk is also from Chicago, drill culture, where most civilians, something happens, they might go to the police, the cops, let it go. They come from an environment where they have to retaliate. What's unfortunate is that they don't feel like even if they reach a certain dollar amount that they're above it, they still feel like they have to retaliate. So long story short, uh, uh, a, a, a guy named uh, Quando Rondo, an mm-hmm. affiliate of uh, NBA Youngboy, I think he was signed to NBA Youngboy's imprint. <clears throat> One day in Cali, long story short, his cousin ended up dying. And you know what? Let me go back just a little bit more. King Vaughn. King Vaughn, you guys might know, is one of the main affiliates of OTF, which is Dirk's imprint, and uh, very close to Lil Dirk. Mm-hmm. He was shot dead a few years ago and at the hands of an individual called Lil Tum. Lil Tum is also an affiliate of Quando Rondo, Quando Rondo being an affiliate of NBA Youngboy. So in that time, this is why the internet is so scary, right? They know Dirk to be the gangster. They know Dirk to talk about the drilling and the music like Savon was talking about. So what do the fans do? They egg you on. Hmm. Slide for Vaughn. Slide for Vaughn. Mm-hmm. These are a lot of the comments Dirk was seeing over the years, right? I remember seeing that crazy. Slide like, for Vaughn. Like very heavily, yeah. Meaning like, yo, go retaliate because Vaughn got killed from that other side. And I'm kind of disappointed in Dirk because he let these folks trick him out of his spot. He let these folks trick him out of his position. Mm-hmm. Like I said, when you reach a certain dollar amount, you got to be above certain things. He didn't allow for that to happen. So, you know, when I see that his imprint, his conglomerate was involved into this murder for hire, mm-hmm. it's like, dude, when did, when was you going to wake up? Brett, you got anything to say before I go? No, I'm just, like, I'm listening to the situation. I really don't have many, many thoughts on this because, I, as I said, I was just confused, like, why this all transpired and what, mm-hmm. what did they think they were going to happen, yeah. you know? I'm tired of the photo ops. The photo op- what you mean? What I mean is, yeah. if you are taking pictures, if you're in the rooms, if you have the accessibility to be with some of the elites, and, and what I mean by elites, I mean elite minds, I mean the elite businessmen, the people who have laid the blueprint out for you to kind of succeed once you get in a certain position. Right. I'm tired of seeing people take these photos and not absorbing the information of or from the person that they're in the photos with. You mean like him and Wallow? Him and anybody who is of something, who has a legit business, Uh who has been able to say, you know what? I come from the streets and now I'm going to pivot into actual legitimate business. Mm. Right. At a time over the last maybe five, however many years, we've seen certain names get held to a certain standard and potential. They always say in sports, uh, potential is the easiest way for you to get fired. Gotta Meaning prove. you can look at somebody all you want. They have all of the, the tools, the potential to be a great scorer, to be a great player in whatever position they're in. But if that potential never manifests to the greatness that you think or believe that that person can be, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We see it all the time.